AppNDA provides a travel profile API, which you can use to get uh, travelers' data like uh, flight history, airports he visited, and airlines he used, uh, as well as other statistics. In order to get started, you will need to get the credentials for your project. Uh, you start by sending an email to api at appndr.mobi uh, and you should describe your project uh, briefly and include the redirect URL, which is uh, will be used when the user grants access to uh, your service. So we will redirect the user to this URL and you can get the credentials uh, you need to access the user's data. So uh, first of all, after getting the client credentials, you will get client ID as well as client secret. Uh, you will need to have a button on your website or inside your app, uh, like authorize app in the air or login with an app in the air. Um, after user clicks on this button, you will need to open the web page uh, and construct the URL as described in the documentation. I have already done that. And um, this URL is the same for all users, so you just need to construct it once. You uh, send the user to this URL and he authorizes himself, as well as gives authorization to, the, uh, to your service. After that, uh, he will be redirected eventually to your redirect URL and the uh, code and the query parameter. You will need this code, I just copy that. And then, uh, as described in documentation, you will need to make a get HTTP GET request to OAuth token, providing your credentials data as well as uh, the code. And the response will be the access token you can use to get users' data. Uh, so let's do this. Yep, I just made a HTTP GET request using my web browser, so you will probably need to make it using the jQuery or uh, native mobile apps uh, uh, access to the internet. Um, here I have the uh, response, it's a JSON with the access token as well as refresh token. The refresh token is needed when the access token expires, so you make another request from your web server, for example, uh, providing a refresh token and we will give you the access token. Expires in indicates uh, how much seconds left where the access token is active. All these details are described in the documentation. For now, I just use the access token and uh, I can use it right inside the console. Uh, on the left, I have reference like my travel, my travel profile and get profile. And uh, access token is used in the header, in the authorization header. Uh, so basically it's a BRA token, so I need to replace the placeholder with the actual token and uh, call the resource. Yep, and I will have, and I will have the response with the information about a user's travel profile. So it includes airports, airlines, aircrafts, uh, with a brief information about the object, as well as uh, count. This is number of times that user have uh, has been in this airport or has used this airline or aircraft and so on. Uh, as well as a flights uh, array, it's a uh, like number of objects that includes carrier number, arrival code, departure code and the times in UTC, so, so when flight departs and arrives. As well as some general statistics like uh, kilometers and actually hours. Uh, overall uh, total number and the last year uh, number and also email user ID that can be used later and the name of the user. So this is a brief, brief explanation how to get started with the API, um, travel profile API from App in the Air.